Hello everyone. I wanted to take a moment to say hello from India. I'm in Jaipur and it's actually my first time in India and I certainly had some trepidation. I, I think I anticipated that it would be something of a transformative experience and I am reflecting a lot on how many years of my life I spent as not only an atheist, but actually a belligerent atheist. You know, I, I felt very convinced that, you know, anyone who resorted to, you know, what I considered to be religious security blankets, um, you know, just hadn't done enough scientific exploration about the truth. And I, you know, I, I would have considered myself an atheist up until about, I would say, four or so years ago. So for me to spend time in a culture where the default um, experience is a spiritual one, where there are expectations of a, a certain, you know, deferential, devotional comportment to life is really extraordinary. And it's given me a deep sense of something that is fundamentally missing you know, in our American experience. And I think this is very tied in, you know, to a lot of what we discuss here in this community on this page, which is why is it that we are struggling? You know, why is it that we react to our struggles with reflexive fear and that we feel such a need to fix, um, our grief, our wounds, our feelings of wrongness. And, you know, this may be a big part of why, you know, 16% of Americans are medicated with psychotropics today. You know, my sense is that being here, um, I spent some time this week uh, as part of a Kundalini Yoga intensive in a village uh, called Nimrana. And by any objective standards, it's quite poverty-stricken, um, you know, really almost looks like it's been, you know, recently war-torn, um, which it hasn't. It's just sort of the entropy of time, I guess. And what was extraordinary to me walking around the village, we spent time at a school there, was this sense of calm and a deep sense of safety. And we got to know, you know, some of the people who live there and learned that, you know, no one there goes hungry, um, that, you know, the, there is a fabric that sort of weaves people together. And it was a feeling I've never had in anywhere that I've traveled in America, certainly not poverty stricken regions. And I think part of, Part of what feels so different to me um, on, a, on a deep visceral level is this sense that you know the, the culture supports the full range of the human experience you know that you're allowed to um, struggle and not have to fix it immediately and that you can expect to be supported by the greater web of the community and so I you know would love to know your thoughts on the role of spirituality. Again, coming from someone who very much disparaged even the word um, and who now feels um, such a sense of relief. You know, it's actually such an intense uh, gift to be able to live life without a sense of reflexive fear around every single bad thing that could possibly happen you know, and, and this sense that we have to always be prepared and vigilant, otherwise we, we're gonna be sorry. You know, that's how I lived most of my life, was, was working very hard to always be right. And um, taking this different perspective, understanding that we are part of a, um, a greater interwoven web that has some sense to it and some you know, my perspective is a cosmic design. It actually relieves you of a lot of pressure to navigate your own experience and you can sort of fall into um, a sense of riding a wave. And, you know, many of you are probably um, aware of my uh, strong 
uh, passionate feelings about some of the ways in which uh, American corporate culture has imposed itself and, and really a, a new imperialism on uh, places like India, you know, whether it's um, uh, Monsanto or whether it's vaccination campaigns, there is quite a desecration, in my opinion, of a very sacred space, a sacred culture and um, a co-option of a people who largely were doing just fine before, you know, our modern sensibilities began to corrupt and influence um, their more traditional wisdom. And so I'm interested in, in this juxtaposition, um, you know, sort of trying to understand how to live in our materialist world in America with a sense of connectedness to people, um, particularly around the world, uh, who have these insights to share about a different perspective on life. So I'd love to know your thoughts if you've been to a place like this, had an experience like this, or have thoughts about, you know, sort of the role of spirituality in a medication-driven culture. So for now, I am signing off and very much uh, look forward to the conversation.